Hi, Tara Reed again. Now I'm going to show you how to enter your licenses into your database. I'm currently on the detail page for the licensee, Tals R Us, a little confusing, licenses, licensees. The licensee is Tals R Us. We have just entered the contract and that's usually your overriding, here's the basic deal. But then when you want to connect this company to specific images, to specific products, etc., you're going to do that on this licenses tab. So to enter a new license, you simply click the plus. It's going to bring up and prompt you to think that you're really on top of things and you're going to enter it the day you get it. If that's the case, just click that. That's the begin date. Then the end date is going to be whatever it is. So if it is a two year term and it begins on 10-5, it's going to end on 10-5. 2013. Now notice before I hit enter on the end date it says that it is available but once I do that it says in force which basically means this art is licensed. Now you're going you can go to the art and click on the magnifying glass which will bring up the art search box and we looked at this when we talked about finding making contacts into licensees and I told you you could type it in and it would find it. Another thing that you can do in any of these search boxes that come up like this is click find all and what it does is it goes through your entire database and it will give you a list of all the art that you have entered. Not a great choice if you have thousands of images in your database but it didn't take very long as you could see when we just did it really quickly. So I'm going to say that they licensed the black cat Halloween fun. So what did they license it for? We're going to click on the product category and they licensed it for towels. Since they are Towels R Us, it makes sense. Click Save. That's there. And then where did they license it for? Uh, they licensed it for the US and Canada. So now we have everything. Oh, the other thing is you can do the status. If somebody is seriously considering your art, you might want to put it in your database as under review. Otherwise, if it's an actual license that is in force, you can click either exclusive or non-exclusive. And then you always click off to have that done. Now, if you click on this green arrow, it's going to take you to that piece of art and it's going to show you that all that information was automatically pulled over into the licenses section of the art because we want everything to flow back and forth and not have you have to enter it twice. Which leads me to just do a side note. If you wanted to, you could have entered all of the information under the piece of art and filled it out here, and then it would have flowed back to the licensee data. It always goes back and forth so it matches. So that is how you enter new licenses whenever you get them.